Hi everyone, welcome to day 54 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn. Uh, today is Friday the 25th of February 2022. Um, the training for today is just finished a 10k hilly run. Um, as you can see, very sweaty today. It's in the uh, head of the afternoon, so it's been a hot one. And to top it off in the first k, I cracked something in my ankle, or kind of twisted a ligament or something, and uh, had a short pause to play with it and thought, oh, it's not going to not going to be a permanent injury, so see if I could run through it and end up getting better as I warmed up. But um, it was a bit of a, a hobble run, heat run, um, painful 10k. So it goes hand in hand with the thought for the day, which is um, just revisiting digging the cave. Um, and digging the cave is something that I heard from a, uh, I can't remember the name of the, uh, an Ironman triathlete who does obviously a lot of caves, a lot of training. Um, one of the world's best triathletes that was. and. Um, she was saying that she trains, the reason why she trains, she does all the kilometers leading up to the point where the, the pain really kicks in and it starts to really hurt. That's, that's where she starts digging out the cave. So rather than where some people might think you hit the wall, you know, that's where you're starting to hurt. She, she sees the wall as something that she can dig through and she can really dig out the cave and, and make the cave bigger for next time. So the next time she trains, the, uh, she knows she's expanded the cave from last time and all she has to do is get to that point. Uh, where the wall of the cave is and dig a little bit more out again each time and, and she um, has won world championships and things with that mentality and it's a great mentality and I've used it quite a bit um, and it just turns that negative of the um, the pain barrier and, the, and hitting the wall into a positive of this is my chance to to dig the cave to improve my my limits my levels um, and really put in the, the hard yards to improve for next time doesn't matter if it's another 50 meters further than you ran last time or a little bit more intense than the last time you ran um, but you're adding to what you've done before. Um, and I've seen over many years that, in my mind, you're either improving or you're going backwards. You're not, there's no one in the world that, you know, everyone says, oh, I'm, I'm maintaining. People say that, I'm just maintaining, whatever. The reality is you're either getting a little bit better or you're getting a little bit worse. It's, it's almost impossible just to stay on that level because your, um, your, your fitness, you know, if you're just doing the same thing over and over, you, you gradually you're either dropping fitness or you're having to push to get back up to that level each time so you're just improving a little bit each time um, so if you look at digging the cave that's really improving um, there's times where you want to have rest you know there's things like tapering and rest periods where to get ready for you know peak performances for races and competitions and things like that but um, in the general training phase of things you know to be digging the cave more often than not is a great uh, mindset i believe so um, and as far as improving or, or getting worse, you know, in the tactical response group, you, we always train these high skills, um, running around with guns inside, clearing buildings and uh, even outside, um, using obstacles as cover and clearing large areas of ground and things like that, and live fire and all high risk um, things that if you don't get right can be quite dangerous. You know, people, guys that are highly motivated will train all the time because they want to be, the, they want to be better each time. And because it's for a purpose and it's a real job, there's things are going to happen on jobs that fully relate to training, and that's why we do it. So you want to be the best you can at that time when it all goes wrong. Um, when guys maybe lapse from training or they got tied up in projects and um, just got distracted from training the basics, um, often enough you could see that their skills, they might have been at a certain level, and then within a few months their skills start dropping and they, um, they start losing the basics, losing the fundamentals. So it became very obvious that you you don't you don't train skills you don't you know, get to high levels in, in different things um, and stay there you either improve you keep improving or you uh, drop off and yes we do improve and drop off and backwards and forwards but don't think that you're just going to hang in there without doing the hard work um, so that that's all related to to dig in the cave today and the painful runs all related to dig in the cave um, the 20k rottenness swims on tomorrow and i'm paddling for a solo swimmer first time solo swimmer so I'll be reminding her of that mentality that she's going to be digging the cave when, before we get to the finish of that race for sure. So, um, thought for the day, take it or leave it. I like to use it in the um, painful periods and I'll see you tomorrow.